I'm going to just quickly touch on arthritis um, and talk just very briefly about knee replacements because this is the patient group that has been, uh, I guess, highlighted mostly as the ones that should be able to wait. The roles of the, the aims of our knee replacement is to improve function. Um, it is a good operation, um, but is often not considered to be as good as, for example, hip replacements. And that's that's certainly true. Okay, that's great. So here we are with Dr. Sharma. Dr. Sharma, are you there? Yes, I'm here. So that's it. This, this lady has done extremely well. That's it. Three, um, three weeks after her surgery. Um, and then a patient sent this video just to demonstrate how well some of these can function. Sorry. I've, I've tried to music to be pretty Um, let's stop that there. Um, so it is possible to have a highly functional knee after a knee replacement, um, but patient selection is just so vital. Knee replacement is an excellent operation at restoring, restoring anatomy, um, restoring alignment and, and, and improving pain symptoms. The concern with the timing of it, I think, is to do with um, is to do with patients such as this. So somebody with very advanced arthritis, um, and they, they've been struggling and, and persevering, but they've had a gradual decline in their mobility. And the concern is that if we wait too long, and that patient becomes a non-ambulator, or if that patient's general fitness level gradually declined because of their a change uh, or inability to, to be as active. This is general health repercussions and it also affects the final outcome of their knee replacement. Um, uh, this is of course also the group um, that, that we have the greatest concern about because of their comorbidities and this is the real challenge um, and it's finding the balance in this patient group which I think is going to be, um, uh, going to be uh, really difficult in the forthcoming months as we open up because there is, I think, a pressure for us to be able to deliver these patients um, uh, an improvement in their pain levels so that they can function better. But this has to be offset against uh, some of the additional risks. Knee replacements in this patient group is very successful. Um, there's not an issue with longevity. The great discussion and debate about knee replacement is why um, there's a percentage of patients that do less well. Um, and this is not to do with how long a knee lasts. This is very deceptive. This doesn't tell the whole story. It's to do with why 20% of patients are not happy with their knee replacement. Why is only half of the patient cohort very happy with their, with their knee replacement? These same figures when it comes to hip replacements are really different. Um, hip replacements, we're talking 80 to 90% of people, patients being very satisfied. And... Uh, I won't go through the detail of this, but, but, um, but the latest development in knee replacement surgery is to try to address the, the variation in, in patient's anatomy and the evolution of the use of customized knee replacements so that we're able to accurately restore anatomy and hopefully reduce some of the problems that patients are, are complaining of. Um, and I'll just whiz through these last few slides, but basically they're they're demonstrating the variation in anatomy and the problem with knee replacements being that we don't address that variation um, uh, and there's a percentage of patients that although uh, we feel as surgeons we can do a fairly successful operation for, the component choice is, is if you like a, a, a small, medium and large option when it comes to their knee replacement and the reality is that patient's anatomy is much more variable than that and customising that um, I think particularly in the higher demand in younger patients, 
is going to be probably the, the big game changer in knee replacement surgery with an accurate restoration of anatomy likely to give the patient a much better function. It's still very early days, but, uh, but to date it's, it seems to be a very satisfying uh, technical procedure. And, um, uh, and although the case numbers are small, I think clinically we're going to see that this will represent a significant improvement in our outcomes with knee replacement surgery.